We're gonna do this on this channel, uh, yeah. a live build, no? So we're doing it for a friend. But first, I'm gonna read off the parts list. First off, basic. We got a Seasonic 620 watt uh, modular power supply, motherboard, X570 MPG gaming Wi-Fi, gaming edge Wi-Fi from uh, from MSI. Processor, the most important, a tray tray retail version. Uh, Ryzen 5 30, Ryzen 5 3600 video card I suppose alam niyo na hirap na hirap tayo kumuha ng video card nowadays we were only able to procure uh, a 1660 from Gigabyte yeah so no RTX unfortunately for our storage and boot drive meron tayong Samsung na 970 Evo 1TB for our memory we've got 32GB of Corsair Vengeance Pro White. Mamaya, mapapansin nyo, this is a white build. And then, we've got a fan for, from Corsair as well. And a uh, cooler, yung bago nilang H100i Elite Capelix na 240 all-in-one cooler. For peripherals, we've got an Asus monitor there. Mamaya, papakita ko. And then, also, a, a combo na uh, Razer, Cyanosa, and Abyssus Lite. So, hindi pa sila mechanical, pero good enough for the purposes of our client. Ah, yung case pala, sorry. Mamaya papakita natin kasi very highlight siya nitong build. Yung Fantex P500A, the airflow version. So, let's start the build. So, first off, let's examine yung ating motherboard. So, this is also the first time na brand new tong lahat ng parts na to. Uh, first time natin bubuksan. So, semi-unboxing na rin. So, this is again the MPG X570 Gaming Edge. Since medyo black and white yung build natin, mostly white, mahirap makahanap ng X570 ATX na white. Kadalasan nasa yung mga B550 and stuff, yun yung mga kadalasan nakikita natin na may white. But yung ating client this time won't settle for anything less. Gusto gusto ang very, very high in the list of priority ang aesthetics. So medyo maganda yung sinet up natin build for him. So, so andito yung... Manual, who reads this? Everything you're supposed to need for it. Stickers as well. Labels. Oh, ngayon lang ako nakakita ng uh, motherboard that has stickers for SATA cables and boot drive cables, whatever. Okay, RGB uh, extension. And these are SATA cables, right angle and regular. That's it for the uh, motherboard and accessories. Alright. Alright. Hawakan natin siya sa bandang uh, yung solid parts like dito sa may bandang VRM para hindi naman tayo matukso. Maganda siya, very premium build. Pinili ko to particularly kasi it's almost all black and the highlights are kind of neutral. You know? Pasok pa rin siya sa uh, kapag na-hit ng RGB lights natin, LED, within the case, yung mga reflective hits na yan, it will look white then Very nice. Some of these are sensitive to electrostatic charges. So, it's best practice na when you're assembling the stuff, nandun kasi ibabaw na anti-static plastic covering that the motherboard comes in. Alright. So first, yung pinas, essentially the brain of the system. When we're building a system, siguro essentially tools na kailangan mo, screwdriver, and something to cut stuff with so i have my trusty multi tool here yeah the ryzen cpus at this level typically come with a cooler and air cooler we're not going to use this for now so let's just set it aside now the brain of the uh, system it's a ryzen 5 3600 when handling this, be very careful. Make sure that you handle it only from the sides. Not to bend any of the pins and of course not to drop it. Let's follow the arrow. It's at the lower right, kapag binabasa mo siya, lower left rather, um, of, the, of the chip itself. And then, is lagay natin siya dun sa tray. Be very careful. Alright, so secure na siya. And that's it. We won't have uh, to put 
thermal paste for now kasi may pre-applied thermal thermal paste na dun sa cooler. So, that's pretty much it. Let's move on. So, we've got a pretty uh, substantial heat sink cover and fan. May fan yung heat sink cover for the M2 SSD. Kung naririnig niyan, this is a ratchet and screwdriver but medyo sensitive yung components natin so hindi ko ginagamit ng too much force. Saktong hand hand tighten lang. Mabigat siya, substantial. At meron siyang thermal pads. I'm trying to check kung anong side yung least destructive para mag-appreciate pa ng client ang ating ang kanyang mga boxes. So ito, ganito lang siya kaliit. It's as, as small as a stick of gum. But yan, NVMe SSD, 1 terabyte. So this is like at the top of the line. Okay, slotted in. And then, ibabalik natin yung... Pero bago natin ibalik, tanggalin muna natin yung plastic ng thermal pad. And then, install back. Okay, now, that's done. Let's move on to the RAM. These are 8x4 sticks of 8GB each. So, that's a 32GB uh, in total na RAM. 3200 megahertz ang speed. Most important, rather than the speed of the processor or the power of the video card, it's the RGB that's important. Yan ang nagpapabilis. At uh, nagbibigay ng additional frames. Corsair Vengeance Pro. White, syempre, dahil white yung build natin. So usually, kapag two sticks lang yung gagamitin natin, we have to be mindful of yung pagka-dual channel ng monitor na, eh, nung, nung motherboard natin. For this particular motherboard, isa lang yung may clip. Isang side lang yung may clip. So, you just have to figure out kung ano yung tamang orientation niya. Usually, it's this way, but it depends on the motherboard again. Be gentle with the how you insert the RAM sticks. Just firm enough na hindi naman masira yung motherboard. Sometimes, you have to push it a little bit harder. Now, next, this one. That's it. We're pretty much done with the motherboard assembly. So we got the uh, CPU in, we've got the boot drive in, and we've got the RAM in. So let's set this aside for now, and let's work on the other components. So we gotta figure out the cooler first. Kung kailangan na ba natin siyang ilagay, ikabit nito sa motherboard um, CPU. Bago natin ilagay sa loob ng case, kasi baka kailangan pang tanggalin tong CPU cooler standoffs and the uh, default backplate. It's important na medyo nililipit mo and binabalik mo sa tamang boxes yung mga components kasi pag nagka problema ka mamaya you hopefully walang problema but if in case may kailangan kang i-troubleshoot you find all the literature where it's supposed to be. Ayan. So pang Intel Okay, I think this is what we need. Ah, ang maganda pala dito you have an option to change the faceplate kasi ang currently nakakabit nito is like a clear one but you have parang a white one. I think these are acrylic. It doesn't feel like glass at least. Pero makapal. Siguro at least mga 5mm na acrylic. Ito yung parang frosted white glass versus the clear one. So mamaya natin makikita. Madali naman siyang paltan. It doesn't have to be ay okay. Hindi ko siyang papaltan. Wala akong talang allen keys. But Kung may tools na kasama to, baka pwede. Anyway, easy enough to replace. You don't have to make glass everything. Kailangan mo lang siyang paltan. Even within the case, kaya itong paltan. Ang maganda dito sa cooler na to also is may kasama siyang hub. So this is a fan hub as well as a hub for the RGB, no aesthetics, ng no, no ating uh, fans. And downside the tape, you can slap this onto any part of the case. Uh, I usually put it sa likod kung saan hindi siya makikita because all of the cables from the fans as well as the RGB are gonna get routed in here. It's not just it's not just one fan so it's not only fans. I just have to be careful kasi itong itong cooler na to it has a pre-applied uh, paste. Ganda ng mga fans niya. Ito yung LL series na 120mm fans. Only fans. Not the only fan. Dalawa sila. Actually tatlo sila. And then you replace it with these. This is a full-size ATX. Saktong-sakto lang siya for airflow. 
Actually, this is the airflow pin right now. Mas ma hindi pa natin tinatanggal yung cover. <laughs> Pinili ko to kasi uh, ito yung ginagamit na benchmark for a lot of oh, pretty pagdating sa mga airflow. Yan, no, di ba? Wow. Tem tempered glass and it's a a drawer, ah sorry, a, a drawer Cabinet. style tempered glass to less access to the inside of your case. The front is made entirely of mesh. So this is also the dust filter at the same time. It lets you achieve maximum airflow. Top I.O. So RGB controls and dito may type C. Although I don't know who may type C on motherboard. Feeling ko meron. Um, as well as USB 3, power button, LEDs, and all of that. A unified mic and uh, headphone jack. So top, mayroong magnetic mesh for dust filtration. This top can actually accommodate a 360 uh, millimeter A AIO. We're gonna be using uh, 240 only for this one. Sapat na yon and more than enough actually for this kind of CPU to cool it down. Thumb screws for the back panel. So captive thumb screws siya. You don't have to worry about losing them. Let's set this aside. It's as easy as lifting it up. Alright, so makikita nyo, accessory boxes in here. Pakita natin yung likod. So very spacious yung interior niya. And look at that rear. The back panel is full of cable routing accessories and avenues here. So, kahit hindi ka magaling mag cable manage, this case will help you out. So, very cool. Up to three SSD trays. Tapos meron pang nandun sa box, but meron kasha dito, I think, up to four na 3.5 hard drive. Full size ATX power supply. Na meron ding, meron ding filtration sa baba, a dust filter. And then, meron tayong included na ayon three one forty millimeter DRGB fans, uh, Fantex made, cool, very good. Tanggalin natin yung accessory box. Ang maganda din, very I've used Fantex almost exclusively sa lahat ng mga builds ko in the past. Then ang maganda sa kanila is una yung pa yung quality ng case itself, made of steel. May powder coated finish dito sa baba, interior sa labas is kind of a glossy finish. All of the cables are supposed to need are here as well. And ito yung pinaka gusto ko sa Fantex. When they provide you with accessories, I mean why can't all manufacturers do this? They have it inside the box. So you, you, you don't have to be confused nasa yung mga motherboard standoffs, thumb screws and whatever. Hindi lahat ito magagamit mo for one build. Everything is like just here for for you for future use kasi marami ka pang mamomodify and ma-ma-edit ma dito sa case as you use it as you upgrade as well so then din sabi ko mga 3 and a half uh, hard drive cages dun sa likod we're not going to be using any of these this is i think ayun kung you have a vertical you want the GPU rather to be vertically oriented <coughs> pwede siya dito merong base plate diyan mm -hmm. So, pwede mo siyang itayo, pero it doesn't come with a riser cable to the motherboard. Uh, so, we're not going to use this, obviously. This one, if you have a, quite a heavy uh, graphics card, of course, you know about GPU SAG. This one prevents it. Kinakabit siya dito sa likod. Para instead na yung may merong kang bracket na ilalagay dito sa harap to support, uh, hindi na. Ito na yun. Dito sa likod. So, clean sa harap but very well supported sa likod. We might not need it at all, but it's good to have if you need it. Or when you need it, rather. So, tago muna natin ito. Ayan, kailangan ko muna siyang ihiga. And to slot this in, of course. Okay, dito. Wait. How am I supposed to do this? You just have to medyo finagle it a little bit na sakto siya sa mga screws and standoffs. And of course, ito sa pwesto niya sa likod. Yung. Okay, one, 
two, three, four, five, six. Ito would help a lot if magnetic yung yung uh, screwdriver. So I think you have enough included in the box for a second set of fans. Kung gusto mo mag push pull configuration, meaning two sets of fans on both sides of the radiator. But we've only got two and it's enough. So at this point, I'm just routing, pre routing it here. Para lang maikabit natin siya ng maayos. Uh, to give you an idea kung anong lalaroin using this rig, meron tayong representative... Uh, Sino ang pangalan nito? Zhongli. Si Zhongli. So, meron kang quite a lot of flexibility kung saan siya ikakabayo. A little bit closer, a little bit farther. Malapit sa harap, malapit sa bantay sa likod. So, I want to clear. So, magdito sa likod natin yun. It also helps with the airflow kasi most of the components are here. So, yung mga heat generating, dito lang siya banda dito. Kung ilalagay mo siya dito sa taas, hihigupin lang ng exhaust yung pumapasok dito sa top fan. So, you have to let it uh, give the air, the cool, fresh air, an opportunity to reach the components dito sa back side. So, yan. Kailangan mo siya position. Yan. So, there. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Ipapalit na natin yung AIO. Mamaya, papailawin natin siya. Si Sonic uh, M... Hindi ko alam kung M... Ah, yun ba sa M12 EVO Bronze Rated Power Supply. Uh, this is 620 watts. Overkill na for the components that we have on the system. I like this one because it's modular, meaning you can, own, you can just select what type of cables you need. You don't need to have a lot of rat's nest of cables underneath. Okay. So, ito yung power cable. Three prong. This is the PSU itself. Ayan, 80 plus bronze rating. The 80 plus rating is the uh, representative of the efficiency of this power supply in converting it into actual usable power versus heat. Bakit may heat? Kasi syempre, excess power gets turned into heat. Kaya kailangan din yan ng fans to cool it off. So, ang, basically, ang position natin dito is dito. Pababa. Take advantage of the filters on the basement. Yan. Oh, oh so, yes! So now, ngayon, satisfying. this is what I'm saying. Kita yung, kita yung label yeah. niya, pero nakabaliktad. I brought this uh, scrap folder. Uh, if you want, ito yung gamit na ito. So, parang lalagay ko lang sa dyan, <laughs> para... Hindi na siya kita. Oh, yeah! Ako, so far, medyo hinahorn ko muna yung mga boxes. Yun nga, best practice lang, lalo na kung ano, kung within warranty pa. Okay, medyo tight yung tolerances na ito. Yung table combs. Hindi naman sa mahirap siyang i-adjust, pero you have to be careful kasi kapag naset mo na siya, medyo mahirap na siyang i-adjust later. So, lagyan lang natin dito and let's worry about it mamaya. It's important na gumamit ka ng combs like these para hindi siya mag, mag malinis yung pag-bend mo sa kanya. Use combs. O, di ba? Mas neat tingnan at least dito sa mga ends na to. Just check for tightness. Again, nagbabibrate to. So, you don't want it to be loose. Just try. That's basically how it's gonna look like, I think. And now for the fun part. Well, everything is the fun part, but the GPU. So, again, it's a humble 1660 GTX uh, from Gigabyte. Dual fan. Uh, this one is OC, uh, overclock edition to 6 GB. Now, if you're familiar with components, GPUs can cost up to like half the price of this entire rig. This one is about a quarter of the price. So that's it. So, question is, so, nakatayo, yung motherboard, di ba? Mm -hmm. Can you do this? The case has a provision for a base plate para may pagsasaksakan ka doon yan. The problem is, how do you connect that base plate to the PCB yeah. slot? That's where you need a riser. 
So this one doesn't come with it. Although itong case na to kaya maganda is you have the flexibility to do so. Kasi meron na siyang PCI slots that you can remove over here. So you don't have to be restricted with the traditional orientation of like that. You can still <laughs> place it like this. And it has a very much uh, wide clearance up to the tempered glass na makakapasok pa rin yung intake ng hangin. Hindi ka macho-choke sa... sa uh, Maka-throttle rather in choke. But for this one, we're gonna go with the traditional the horizontal tradition. orientation. <gasps> It's that? supposed to snap like that. Okay, okay. Ah, ba hindi nais? Kento. Tayo ay mag the fun part, the cable management. Okay. Uh, hmm. And so we're gonna be using the. ASUS uh, VP249. So 144 Hertz, 1 MS refresh rate. Tapos, pwede um, free sync yung AMD or G Sync for NVIDIA. NVIDIA to, so pwede mag G Sync. VESA compatible, so pwede yung wall mount or i monitor arm. <laughs> IPS panel to, so pwede, pwede mo siyang gamitin pang even yung mga video editing and photo editing if you're so inclined. Maganda yung color reproduction. It's not just for gaming. This. It comes with a free HDMI cable. I would personally recommend a, uh, a display port cable, but for temporarily, it can be Alright, so we have the power cable now. Monitor. And the monitor itself. This is the monitor. So, very thin bezels. Almost no maximize my screen. Give me a And that's it. Ah, oh my god. Oh! This thing's a very monitor. Okay. Uh, mm, it's not the post that we want. Pero, we still need to install uh, an OS din naman. So, this means that it works, mm -hmm. essentially. So, this is the Sinosa Light and Abyssus Light combo. Premium products, Razer. May RGB din yan, dito. dito. And that's pretty much it. Catch us on the next stream. Bye!